Короче, сушильный цех горит нам. Putin still does not care about the numerous military losses in the army. U.S. General Retired U.S. Army Lieutenant General Ben Hodges assessed Russia's chances of winning the war against Ukraine. According to him, the current situation at the front is a fight of attrition. He said this on air at 1 plus 1. At the same time, he noted that despite the months-long absence of military aid from the United States, Ukraine held the front. Russia recognizes that they cannot defeat Ukraine now. They have no way to completely defeat Ukraine as long as the West continues to support them. So what Russia does is they pursue civilian targets, not caring how many innocents they kill, he said. According to him, the Kremlin does not even care about preserving the lives of its own personnel and is not worried about losses among its military. Hodges believes that a war of attrition is ongoing in Ukraine. As the general explained, Russia is trying its best to break the will of the Ukrainian people, as well as to make the West lose trust and will. However, there is one important point. If you think about it, there were almost eight months of no weapons coming from the US and Russia still couldn't defeat Ukraine. That's why I'm confident that Ukraine will actually defeat Russia, added Ben Hodges. He previously noted that Russia does not have the potential to capture Kharkov or Sumy. I think the Ukrainian fighters are doing a better job with what they have. Russia is just continuing its efforts, trying to overwhelm the Ukrainian fighters with artillery and these massive infantry attacks where they are losing over a thousand people every day. So I don't believe that Russia is capable of achieving decisive help over Ukraine, he added. At present, Russian troops are suffering heavy losses on the battlefield, particularly in the Kharkiv region. This is something I have tried to understand, but I do not understand it yet. It is obvious that the Kremlin does not care at all how many casualties they have. It does not matter to them, the Russian government has never cared about its casualties. Russian soldiers are tools for them to use and spend. So unless the Russian population decides that they have had enough, I do not think anything will change, Ben Hodges said. Russia loses 100,000 soldiers in the Battle of Chasiv Yar. Russian troops captured a tiny part of Chasiv Yar, Donetsk Oblast, which was previously home to 12,000 people, three months after launching a broad offensive on Chasiv Yar at a cost of 99,000 killed and wounded, Forbes reported. Analysts predict that the Russians will continue their offensive in this direction, slowly advancing at the cost of huge losses among personnel and equipment while inflicting much less damage on Ukrainian forces. To capture each city or even district, the Russians are burying tens of thousands of their own troops. The article reads, Russia's heavy losses helped Ukraine maintain its defense as Russian brigades are weakening and the Kremlin barely has time to recruit new troops. Experts say the reason for the heavy losses is the transfer of recruits to the front without adequate leadership, training or equipment. If Russia created better quality forces, it could conduct larger scale offensive operations, said retired Australian Army General Mick Ryan. Despite the capture of part of Chasovoya by Russian forces, the Ukrainian garrison in the city has not stopped fighting and has retreated several blocks to the west. As the publication's analysts notes, defensive positions on the western side of the canal are easier to defend since before directly attacking Ukrainian positions, the Russians must first cross the canal, an inconvenient, although not impossible, maneuver. As Forbes writes, some may be surprised that the Ukrainian garrison held out in the isolated and vulnerable area of the canal for so long. Back in late May, the Ukrainian think tank Frontelligence Insight predicted that Chasiv Yar would eventually be lost to Russian forces. But the garrison fought on for another six weeks. The Ukrainian armed forces were helped by the fact that in mid-April, the administration of US President Joe Biden began supplying ammunition to Ukraine again. Ukrainian defense has also been helped by the fact that Russian regiments and brigades are weakening as a result of heavy losses. This is happening because the rate of losses is forcing Moscow to rush new troops to the front without proper leadership, training and equipment. Forbes writes.